Good morning and I'm hoping this is all turning out okay this morning. I am using this through Restream so it's going to the five different locations and I can't remember for the life of me because it's been a week <laughs> since I did this whether it actually shows up my comments here in my eCam so I can bring them on screen when I'm using Restream. And that's the part I can't remember. But it doesn't matter. Now nah, here it does. Good. I'm glad there's someone there. I think it also does do a uh, delay factor that's a bit longer than I thought it would be. Um, but it's not showing up that I can... Ah, there it is. I've just got to hit the right one. Good morning, Cassie. How are you? And you're on Facebook, I dare say, from mytimetv.live which is good and I've got it actually going into the Rosboundy card reading group so that's to the group direct and I think it's Twitch, Periscope which is Twitter and YouTube is the other three so lovely to have you all here and I'm still trying to figure out now where am I looking where am I looking that just feels so long ago since I was um, experimenting with this because it's mobile devices are so much different so much different good morning Rosie and good morning Linda how are you so good oh, it's really good feeling to be back in front of the um, Mac <laughs> and I'm <laughs> It is a lovely, beautiful, sunny morning right now. Um, around about the 5.30 this morning, there was um, lots of cloud. Or was it 5.30 this morning or last thing last night? Because it was a full moon, going from what my stuff tells me. I went out to have a look. Nah, cloudy, dull, dark, cloudy, overcast. Almost felt like rain. Um, yeah, what a shame. The full moon looked fantastic there last night. Oh, where are you, Rosie? Because uh, when I went out, it wasn't, uh, I didn't have any visual at all. But that was around midnight, I suppose. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? Lovely to see you here. Right, so we have the first day of a new month, November. And it was the Halloween or All Hallows Eve or whatever the story is behind all of that last night. So I just enjoyed a few little sweets and watched TV and went to bed, <laughs> which is all I needed to do. Um, it's lovely that there are some form, some people who love the evening, the, the whole switch over and everything, you know, the wick and... And all of that are chart in Victoria. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> and I oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. All those gorgeous little hearts and the sun. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kathy. I like that. Um, now, I am going to get to the reading because even though it is a sun, I mean, it is a Sunday, so it doesn't really matter how long we take, really. But I'm not going to hold you up too much. I might do a longer session later on today. I've got a few things to catch up on and then uh, breakfast for one. And <laughs> we'll get to um, doing some more of something today, whatever I feel like, actually. I, I feel like I need, uh, you know, who, who knows what's going to end up being for the day. First day of a month, wonderful. Um, back at my Mac, wonderful. <laughs> back home where I'm comfortable, <laughs> wonderful. I mean, not that uh, the shack's, the shack is comfortable, but the internet, I mean, honestly, I just couldn't handle that. It was just in and out one of those mornings. I couldn't do a thing. Couldn't do a thing with it. It's like, washed my hair, couldn't do a thing with it. And I did wash my hair this morning. <laughs> so here we go. We'll switch around to the, I've just got to get that up. And, oh, I haven't got it quite centred. You never see it until it's quite as the full screen, whether it's loaded. And I did leave it to the last minute before I actually did the fiddling around with that. Here we've got the deck that I'm using. It is still the Sierra Marchetti's artwork, Gilded Referee Lenamond. I love this deck, so it will be the one I'll probably go to continue with for these, these morning readings. So what we've got, we've got the... My mind went blank. 
workspace, isn't it? I'm going to get, it's going to get to a point where you guys are going to be reminding me what the energies are around these positions. Workspace, home space, I love that. We've got the four-leaf clover in the home space. And we've got the dice in the unexpected, which is a good one to have there too. We've got the fox in your role and we've got the books in the outcome. And that's actually the ship too. I forgot to mention that when my mind went blank. So, wonderful trips, travelling. Um, there could be some travel on the cards today. Well, it, it is. It's in the cards today. It, it's travel for business, for work. And so, it's sort of indicating there's going to be something that's happening ahead or you're planning for. Uh, something that's happening ahead that's going to require you to actually pack a suitcase and do that form of travel. It's going to be an overnighter or two that's for work related, whatever you're working on. <laughs> so um, I think that's actually as clear as it is. There feels to me, and some of it is a bit of the um, you know, how we've been planning, that the trend has been to plan, you know, the ideas and brainstorming and planning and all that that we've had as a bit of a trend. I think it's just taking that a bit further in that mind, the mental part of traveling with it, you know, letting letting those thoughts really go free and traveling with it because this is, um, you can tell this one is a sailing ship that's got the wind in its sails. So I'm feeling that too, it is to allow ourselves to be free and go with the flow of what direction some of that's going to take us. But remember, of course, any ship really needs to have someone at control of its rudder. So do still steer it with intention if that's if you've got something that is more of those solid ideas forming. And have a lovely time in that planning process or maybe you're already on a work trip right now and that's what um, it's indicating but it certainly is a bit of time being taken with that pack bag feeling of, of having a bit of a length of time in that trip that thought process that forming of the of the project or plans okay just love the um <laughs> the four leaf clover in the home space perfect position um, anything that's going to be through the day today is going to bring you good luck. So have that intention in mind and the positivity that, uh, you know, here it is, definite. You've got the good luck for yourself today and work with that in your day with your family, friends and whatever you're doing around your home. I mean, it could be that you've just been planning to do some of those little odd jobs around the home because it's a Sunday and you've got others to help you and the rest and it just goes with that flow moving it forward and just having everything fall into place and feel really lucky uh you know so move with it move with it and it could be anything as far as the unexpected goes we've got that one here too in the dice so it's like throwing up the the dice and seeing what thing next what's going to happen next and and that could be with whatever list of things you've got as your job uh, you know I wouldn't call them chores on a Sunday. I feel that, you know, it really is a bit more that day of rest. So just enjoy the day and almost like that, you know, it is the throw of the dice and bring it into your day with that sort of energy of what's next is going to be really lucky. The throw of the dice is going to be really lucky and move forward with that. Now, this next one of the fox it is still sneaking into our cards. It keeps coming back in our spread. I don't know how many we've had in the last week or two in times where we've had Fox turn up. For me, as I saw it falling out, oh, by the way, just before I forget, these two, the ship and the four-leaf clover, the ship and the clover were the two cards that actually fell out when I first started shuffling for the cards for the day with that emphasis. So they have more strength in what they mean for us today as well. So um, just keep that in mind as well. This fox keep coming back for me as I saw this one pop in was um, 
Yeah, good morning, Shaz. Yeah, it was a full moon last night, apparently. I didn't see it when I went out to have a look because the uh, clouds were over. And then I went to bed. I was too tired. Yeah, this persistence, I think I like it for that, but it's really showing for me, look, where is this, this persistence? It really is showing up again. This time in our role, really needing to deal with it, really needing to work out what it's for. Um... I'm sort of thinking, am I trying to manipulate? And this is my own question to self. Am I trying to manipulate something myself that it's got, you know, I'm trying to force it a bit too much. I want it to work, so I'm trying to push it and persist and, and you know, get into it and look, it's got to work. It's it, it's what I want. Um, that's what I'm feeling, that maybe it's that pushing and putting too much effort into it just let it go. See how this fox is leaving the scene. Even though it's looking back, look, it's time to let it go. Let whatever it is go. That's our role today. Uh, and I think it's particularly if it's something that you've had that niggle that you really determined that you want it to work, I think let it go for this moment. It's time to leave the scene fully and, and you know, the rooster wins. It was funny in the Facebook comments um, with her friends. She does some Lenneman cards too. And she uh, had she mentioned two of what I've got in this spread happens to be in what hers is. And I thought, wow, like I love synchronicities and especially the fact that the fox has returned again. And I thought, nah, look, the rooster wins. Um, so I think that in itself was predictive. The rooster wins, the fox needs to leave and go elsewhere in this instance so um yeah that's what it's uh, you put your crystals out mine are in window sills at the moment while well, the ones i've got i think yeah no i need to put them out again tonight they might still get some of the energies i mean the energy is still going to be absorbed by the cards uh by, by the crystals i'm saying cards because that's what i'm looking at um, by the crystals even as um, you know they don't have to be in direct moonlight moon bright but it's it of course it does do a better job of it <laughs> so yeah look whenever it, it's one of those things for those who use crystals it is an important time is the the full moon to recharge and cleanse thanks for that reminder too Shaz now we're at our outcome and we've got the books so I know it's going to be something that I'll probably hit today myself because there's a good book that I'm reading absolutely on my iPad, which is sitting over there. I like reading the Kindles these days because it's easier to hold than a full-on book sometimes, especially with the size of them that I'm using. Like this one is what comes to mind because I did have a dream last night. It's a bit hard um <laughs> there we go uh, i'm just going to swap that round because this isn't the book by the way I'm just going to you look at the size of it and it really is something that can be pretty hard to hold on to if you're wanting to read at night so oh, now i'm just going to have to disappear for a minute and put this back in the shelf um oh bang um the one that i've actually got on my ipad at the moment i'm just going to look that up because um it's a kindle one and now of course i've got to go back to the cover whoops and try and find that it's so interesting finding it oh there's the cover and there that one is where i can actually show that one up right i'm just going to show that absolutely fascinating uh, i'll swap that round so you can get a geezer oh whoops um a look i probably should use proper english shouldn't i there we go so that's the book i'm reading got it yeah it is center didn't it so that's the book that i'm reading on my kindle at the moment absolutely fascinating because i have got whoops i have got my Healy sitting behind beside me resonating the frequencies as I'm speaking and it's just the ahas that I'm getting as I'm reading that book and it's very similar to what we you know what book are you reading at the moment are you do you read 
are you having any aha moments with what can be those pieces of wisdom that just pop in and it doesn't necessarily have to be from a book although our outcome with the book with today is the books but it can be little messages and things that spark into your day you know as in it's, it's like that shining light that that brings things to you uh, it could be that you notice something out in the garden that just absolutely brings you joy and an aha moment a a wonderment, a whatever you're needing at that point in time, be open and aware for that. Um, and, and then look up what it might mean for you if that's what it needs. Um, our outcome is the increasing knowledge and wisdom we're going to gain from, from having the books in our lives or even starting to write and put down our own thoughts or memoirs and, th you know, in whatever way it needs to be that that knowledge is shared. Um, Rosie, you put your crystal out in the full moon last night. Whoopsie, I'm just going to have to move that, aren't I? Uh, you had them buried in your garden. Oh, I haven't done the burying in the garden before. Then I wash them with rainwater. I always do wash with rainwater. I don't use the stuff out of the tap. Just don't like it. And the mystical fantasy books at the moment is what you're reading. Well, that's good. Oh, I mean, I like the magic the magic fantasy historical fantasy is the ones i really like and when i get to reading a fiction uh that it's it it's just that interaction with what is the the wonderment the the, the wonder the creativity of what our minds oh, i'm not going to do it this way of oh, i'm not doing the crazy that of what our minds will actually create for us in that imagining as we're reading of what the scene is that we're in of what um you know experiences we're having what emotions we're feeling as we're reading especially well fiction books even though with a reference book like this one that i'm reading on the resonance freak the resonant frequencies and things like that it's all of it gives you an experience and um oh so you're read tracy's reading a john woods biography now i haven't heard of john woods it sounds i do like biographies too by the way um so that's something that i might look up as to who john woods is so do delve into your bookshelf today and spend some time that is you time even if what you're going to choose from the bookshelf is going to be done by a, a the roll of a dice and you could get lucky with what you're actually going to find out and move move your mind into and going on that trip in an inner world <laughs> so um yeah and Shaz you're saying I love audio books being read to sleep yeah you know my opinion on audio books I, I, I love the uh, and I'm going to move back over to the full screen here um, I actually do love the feel and texture and actually holding a book um, I do prefer the physical books even above what is the Kindle that's on the iPad but I prefer to read. It's just the way that my, you know, my experience functions for reading. An audio book for me is just moving into, I'm not listening well, and then I miss what the story is, and I want to have the full story. So that's where, for me, reading is <laughs> great. And, oh, hi, Sharon. Good morning, and the fox again, yes. So if you've missed that one, as far as how I explain that, it is time to move the fox on. And that's where the rooster does win. So today, that's what my feeling is. It is deal with whatever the fox is meaning for you. As your role, it is your responsibility to deal with it and say, look, off, go away. Don't want to see you again for right now. Um, you know, tomorrow you're not going to be here. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what the cards bring us tomorrow, won't it? And Rosie, your whole backyard's looking gorgeous with all your roses. Whoops. Uh, your roses in bloom. And so far, 15 different irises have opened up. Wow. Most you haven't seen in flower before. Oh, I love I I do enjoy gardens, beautiful gardens. Shaz, you've got a beautiful garden. 
Mine's okay, but I'm not a gardener. And I'd really like to put some roses in. I love the Lady Diana one. I saw a photo of that recently. And that's your aha moments is in the garden, Rosie. I love that. Yes. Yes. And it is awesome, isn't it? Um, lots of flowers. It'd be lovely if... It, wouldn't it be nice if we could put photo, you know, bring pictures in and share them on screen? But so far, I don't know how to do that. Unless you can... Can you put pictures into the comments here? On, oh, not, not here. I'm looking that way. That way. <laughs> so that they show up <laughs> that'd be a good one to try out wouldn't it uh shares if you've got one on your phone well i don't know how you're actually joining in or even yeah rosie if you've got a photo there that you can put in the comments um because i'm not as the watcher of these very often i don't actually haven't considered doing sharing a picture like that that'd be interesting wouldn't it yeah so one last look at the cards and then I suppose I better get going and have some breakfast. So there we have it, our cards for the day. Beautiful. Aren't they a nice set? I mean, but then I love the cards. So that, that I presume shares means that there isn't an option to actually share a photo in comments because it's not something I've ever done. Um, and Sharon, <laughs> you're not a gardener either. Definitely have, uh, yeah, I have a black thumb. Uh, yes, yes, that's what my family knows me for too, killing most things in a garden. All those succulents are, uh, succulents are a very good one for us. I, I have had success with those. They don't die. And there is another one, but now I can't remember what that was. Geraniums or pelagoniums, whatever they're called. Can't kill them either. And I still do have a fern going. Um, so I figure I'm not doing too bad. So, and this morning you've been trying but haven't had success. Oh, okay. Whoops, I've lost my um, screen. <laughs> Hang on. Whoops, I hit the wrong button because I needed to scratch my nose. See this long hair? I still haven't got it cut. Um, it does tickle my nose occasionally. Anyway, I better go. Thank you very much for being here. I'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. I'm not sure how I'll do it, whether I'll be joining in as Ecamm through Restream or whether I'll do BeLive. Uh, we'll see. And it's highly likely. <laughs> yes, the succulents are great. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what I've got, the, the bits that I have that I'd consider my garden. Anyway, yes, so tomorrow I will be here. Look, I'll be, I may be back on ad hoc sometime today just to have, well, a play, really. And it will be doing some readings of some sort. And, oh, I don't know what else. Who knows? We'll just see what I want to have some fun with. Thank you for being here. Keep being the best people that you can be. Absolutely. Be your best person. And namaste till then. And find where I've got to finish this one. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for that, Sharon.